That's D5 for you. I am very excited about this video. I came to know about D5 through one of my juniors and started using it a few months back. It really blew my mind. I am excited about a lot of things in D5. I'll try to cover as much as possible in this video. The images and the videos that you saw were from my recent works using D5. And the residence shown is designed by our studio. I am using that so I can show how D5 can help with visualization in real and interesting designs. I will leave the info in the description if you want to check and see more about the project. I am very happy that D5 is sponsoring this video. Sponsorships help me keep producing these free YouTube videos. Rest assured, I will give my genuine and sincere opinion about D5. If you follow us on Insta, you will know that I am really into D5 at the moment. D5 has released their new 2.8 beta version which is too good. It's optimized in a way to handle complex and advanced stuff like incorporating DLSS, super sampling and D5 self-developed super rendering algorithm increases the rendering speed. The whole two and a half minutes walkthrough for this project took just five hours to render and that too in 4K. Another project of the same scale which I started rendering using an another rendering software took me more than 60 hours. By the way, I'm not done with that rendering yet. In case you are considering to jump to D5 from any other rendering software, watch this video till the end to get the complete overview. First, let's talk about the real-time rendering experience. With D5, the workflow is smooth and achieving realistic renders is straightforward. Just import your model, apply material and tweak the lighting. You can apply effects to change the mood, but even without that, you can achieve the same quality of renders. In my initial days, I always had to wait for the final render to appear. But with D5's real-time rendering, you can see on the screen then and there what you will get at the end after rendering, with nearly any difference. But this also has its con. It's more demanding on your computer and it's a constant requirement. So learning how to optimize your scene and handle heavy models is me. You can change the display quality to smooth when you are placing assets and vegetation and to precise when you are applying materials and lighting. You can also work using layers. I always keep my plants and heavy models in separate layers so I can switch them off whenever I don't need them. Like when I am setting up the living room shots, I don't need the courtyard plants. Make sure you are in static mode and only when you are setting up a video shot, go back to the dynamic mode to allow things to move. D5 has slots to load all PBR maps that you need to create a realistic looking material. You have a list of pre-made custom material presets that you can select from. Each have different set of controls. It's self-explanatory to pick one. D5 uses roughness map. If your PBR material has glossiness map, after loading the material, click on this button and invert it to invert the texture. Within the base color map, you can add colorization to the texture and change hue, saturation and black values along with the contrast. You can fix UV issues with this triplanar projection and the texture tiling issues with UV randomizer. But with triplanar projection, it would be even better if we have more control when rotating the textures. Since D5 is constantly coming out with updates and at their speed, I am pretty sure that they will solve it in the future. You can also round the corners to remove those sharp edges. Let's conclude on materials with this. This file in D5 is a great resource for diving into material creation. This will help you get in touch with all the sliders in D5 and learn about materials. If you already know about PBR materials and what each map stands for, you will be easily able to pick it up from here just by experimenting with creating a scene. But if you are starting from scratch or still figuring out PBR materials, this file will be of huge help. It will help you in understanding the final details D5 has to offer compared to other render engines. Plus, you can learn how things work like normal map, displacement, depth perception, caustics, translucency, subsurface scattering, etc. You can find this file in the explore area before starting a new file. It's a bit large file, but it's completely worth checking out. You can create a scene by clicking on this icon. 
and click on edit camera to get the complete control over camera features. Click on this icon to activate preview. You can pin this preview to keep editing the scenes framing by moving objects. This is super handy when perfecting the scenes framing. You can adjust the aspect ratio to suit your need. You can also choose different aspect ratio in the image export area, but that just crops your standard view. Don't forget to update the scene after changing the aspect ratio here. You can save different environmental settings for each scene. So make sure to get the full out of it, like wind, precipitation. The precipitation also adds rain streaks onto the glass. Exporting images and videos with D5 is super easy. Click on this video camera icon to open the video tab. Click on this plus icon to create a new clip. D5 offers you a set of pre-made camera movements to select from. You can change the values according to your model and scene. Or just set your own camera path animation using keyframes, which is just as easy. You can add all your clips to render queue and render them all at once. When rendering images, always make sure to enable the channels or render elements. They are very helpful when doing post-production work using Photoshop. Instead of adjusting the overall exposure, which can mess up with the scene's lighting, you can tweak the slider to adjust only the bleached area. By dialing down the highlights, you gain much more control over the final image, which makes the post-production process in Photoshop much easier. D5 also comes with D5 Studio, which is a cloud workspace to store your assets like FX, Brush, Path and Scatter to increase your work speed. You can also find some D5 curated presets to use in your work. These presets will be a good place to start with and further work on your scene. D5's asset library is massive. There are tons of models and materials to select from. There are even variations of the same vegetation. You can quickly finish the less important stuff without going custom every time by applying materials from the D5 library. You can also filter the assets when you are searching for a particular one. There are loads of decor objects. In fact, this whole shelving unit is from D5's asset library. D5 is leading on implementing AI into their workflow. The AI generated texture maps are such a valuable addition. This koi tile is from a specific supplier. So I just loaded the texture in the base color map slot and click this icon so that D5 can create the maps for you. You can always use the sliders to change the way a particular map affects the material. AA Atmosphere Match is a great tool to test different results. You load an image that you like and D5 will analyze that image and match the atmosphere of your scene to that of the reference image. You can also enhance your image inside D5 using AA Enhancer. After you are done with the scene, click Render. Once it's rendered, click on AA Enhancer. You can also access your previous renders in Render History. Choose the level of enhancement you want and click Enhance to enhance the full image and download it directly. If you want to enhance specific portions, click on this arrow and select those portions and click Enhance. They are also working on the beta version of text to 3D model generation inside D5. The roadmap that they have for the future years is pretty promising. D5 is actually free to use. You will get full functionality without any limits on resolution, or renders and there are no watermarks. The only major difference between the free and the pro version is the asset library. If you are someone who has access to custom PBR materials and models, you can use D5's free version without any free for your lifetime. The pro version of D5 isn't that pricey if you compare it with other render engines out there. A quick heads up for students, educators and educational institutions there's an educational version of D5, which is basically a pro version, but you can get it for free. If you are keen on trying out D5, go ahead to their website and start with the free version. If you are trying to switch to the pro version to try out all the features, I have got a link for you in the description, which will give you a 5% discount. It's an affiliate link, so by using it, you also help support this channel. I hope you found something useful in this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts on DeFi in the comments below.
see you all in the next video